Hi, my name is Barry Bennett, and my son was pronounced dead in the womb, but God raised him up. My wife, Betty Kay, and I were married in January of 1978 while we were attending Bible College in Dallas, Texas. And in August of that year, we went forth to Mexico as missionaries. What we didn't know at the time was that she was already expecting our first child. And so we arrived in Mexico without that knowledge, but a couple of months later, it became apparent that she was indeed uh, pregnant. A few days after finding that out, perhaps a week or two had gone by, uh, she began to experience uh, severe difficulties in the pregnancy, uh, a lot of hemorrhaging, and we became quite concerned. And though we didn't speak Spanish, we sought out a Mexican doctor who did speak English, who had been trained in New York, and we went to him for a consultation. He ran a number of tests on Betty Kay, including a sonogram, which was somewhat new at the time. I took her home after that visit, and the following day I came back for the results and spoke with the doctor, and he showed me the sonogram. And what he said to me was that the fetus, as he called it, had died, the sac had collapsed, and uh, the hemorrhaging was, was this beginnings of a spontaneous abortion. He said that within a couple of days, the fetus would pass and that she would be all right after that. I heard what he said with my head, uh, but with my heart, it did not enter in. I, di I did not receive his words with my heart. I knew something different. We had known she was pregnant for a few weeks, and we had a very uh, sure word in our hearts that we were going to have a son and that his name would be David. I, I returned home from that doctor's visit and I told my wife, Betty Kay, I said, the doctor said that you just need to stay in bed and rest and you'll be okay. I didn't tell her what he really had said because I, didn't, I decided not to believe what he had said. I had a different word from God. And we began to hang on and believe God and, and we would pray together and pray over the baby and uh, we just simply did not believe the doctor's report, nor did she even know the doctor's report. And so a few days went by and nothing had happened. And I, I began to realize nothing was going to happen, that God had, was going to or had done a miracle. And so once some time passed, uh, we decided we did not go back to that doctor. We moved back to Texas for other reasons. And in Texas, we did find another doctor. And that doctor did not notice anything out of the ordinary. And the, the full pr pregnancy passed, including two extra weeks. What may have happened in those two weeks, uh, we don't know. But we do know that David was born two weeks late, but perfectly healthy, with no complications and no problems. And he's 34 years old today, and is a, is a blessed young man. I want to encourage all of you that are here tonight the, to realize that you have two different ways you can hear God. You have, we'll say, two sets of ears. You have your natural hearing, your natural capacity to hear what people say, but you also have the capacity to hear what God says. You have the capacity to receive His Word. The Spirit would bear witness with your spirit. If we spend all of our time only listening with our natural ears to what the doctor says, to what our neighbors say, to what our family says, all of the doubts, the fears, the scientific facts, if that's all we're hearing, then it's going to be more difficult to hear what God has to say. I was able to hear what the Holy Spirit had to say at the same time that the doctor was speaking to me. As the doctor was speaking to me saying, the baby has died, the Holy Spirit was saying to me, no. That, might, that may have been the only word I got from the Holy Spirit, but, but that no overcame the word of the doctor. And I was able to believe what my spirit was hearing instead of what my head was hearing. This is a very major key in receiving anything from God. We're spiritual beings. We have the capacity to hear God. So let his spirit minister to you tonight.